Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into MIUI Violet, a custom ROM based on MIUI 14 and Android 13 for the good OL Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, if you watched my previous video, you know I reviewed Hype Arrows for this device. Let's see how MIUI Violet stacks up. Booting up MIUI Violet, the first thing that hits you is the clean aesthetic. The developer has done a fantastic job of debloating the ROM, removing all the unnecessary Xiaomi apps that often bloat up stock firmware. This translates to a smoother, more streamlined experience. Plus, with play integrity and safety net passing by default, you can rest assured your apps will function flawlessly. MIUI Violet comes with some interesting tweaks under the hood. The developer has mentioned tweaked haptics, although we couldn't test them due to a faulty vibration motor on our test unit. Still, it's a nice touch for those with working haptic feedback. Additionally, the speed meter refresh time has been bumped to one second for a more responsive experience. Another cool feature is the inclusion of Core Patcher, allowing you to sign and install apps that might not be available on the Play Store. Plus, there's an unlimited GPhoto spoof for all your photo storage needs. The developer has also included a custom launcher, which is a great way to personalize your phone's look and feel. However, it's important to note that launcher customization is entirely up to the developer's choice. Now, no ROM is perfect and MIUI Violet is no exception. We encountered a few bugs during our testing. The most prominent one is the inoperable SuperLive wallpaper feature. This seems to be a known issue and hopefully, the developer will address it in a future update. Additionally, Mi Sound Effects and the IR Blaster functionality appear to be non-functional as well. These features might not be deal breakers for everyone, but it's something to keep in mind. Here's where things get a bit interesting. The developer promises a smoother experience, but we noticed some occasional UI lag. Animations felt a tad sluggish, even after setting the animation scale to 0.5x in developer settings. Now, the Redmi Note 7 Pro isn't exactly a powerhouse, but compared to the Hype Arrows we reviewed earlier, MIUI Violet does seem to offer slightly better battery life. This could be due to the debloating efforts and optimizations made by the developer. MIUI Violet for the Redmi Note 7 Pro shows promise. The clean interface, debloated system, and additional features like Core Patcher and GPhoto spoof make it a tempting option for those looking to breathe new life into their device. The battery life seems decent as well, however the UI lag and non-functional features like Super Live Wallpaper and Mi Sound Effects hold it back from being a slam dunk. Here's hoping the developer pushes out updates to address these issues. If you're a Redmi Note 7 Pro user comfortable with flashing custom ROMs and willing to overlook a few bugs for a cleaner, potentially more battery-efficient experience, MIUI Violet is worth checking out. Just be aware of the limitations before you dive in. As always, make sure to back up your data before flashing any custom ROM. What do you guys think? Have you tried MIUI Violet? Let us know your experiences in the comments below. And if you're looking for more Redmi Note 7 Pro ROM reviews, don't forget to check out our previous video on Hype Arrows. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.